Greetings from New Jerusalem 777. I'm back with my second video. Um, I just want to um, go over this article real quickly. I just want to read some of the comments and commentaries made by some of the followers of Harold Captain and some of the stuff that was said by the media, you know, because really I'll tell you right now, the secular media is tearing this thing apart, okay? It's, it's really sad too, you know, because the world right now look at Christianity even with more disdain and more more reason to hate Christianity and just put us in a you know garbage dump you know because of, because of people because of false people like um, King Harold Campton and, 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 and his followers and, and I'm gonna tell you please don't lump me together with these people I am none of them I don't have no association with them and a matter of fact I don't have no association with any sort of denomination group or any sort of cult I just follow the words of the Lord that's it <laughs> I mean, you know, that's it. I don't listen to man only. I, I go, I, I test every spirit because, you know, um, according to John chapter, according to 1 John chapter 4, you're supposed to test every spirit. I mean, you're supposed to test the spirits of, don't, you know, of, of, of teachers and prophets and all that. You know, don't, don't believe in everything they say, okay? Don't, don't do that, okay? Because if you do, you're going to fall into a trap. Okay, that's what it is. And it's witchcraft, it's deception. Witchcraft is deception. And that's what these people are involved in. They're involved in witchcraft, okay? That's what it is. That really that's really what it is. And don't think I'm I'm not trying to be crazy or nothing, but that's true. You know? So, um I'm gonna read some comments off this article. It's um was uh AP it's from Associated Press. And it's titled, Believers' Reactions Mixed to Unfulfilled Doomsday. Yeah, Unfulfilled Doomsday. You know, and, um, and uh, according to the first, according to the first part of the article, Oakland, California, the hour of the apocalypse came quietly and went the same way, leaving those who believe that Saturday evening would mark the world's end confused and more faithful or just, or more faithful or just philosophical okay and and believers have spent months warning the world of the pending cat cataclysm some had given away earthly belongings others um, took long journeys to be with loved ones and there were those who drained their savings account okay all were responding to the May 21st doomsday message by Harold Campton false prophet an 89-year-old retired silver engineer, and the article didn't say false prophet. I just inserted that in. He was an 89. He's an 89-year-old retired silver engineer who has built a multi-million-dollar Christian media empire that publicized his apocalyptic prediction. Oh, some Christian, some Christian prophet. Oh yeah, some man of God that needs all his money to spread the word. <laughs> yeah. And there's one comment I like to I like to read here. The next line: um, I had some skepticism, but I was trying to push the skepticism away because I believe in God," said Keith Bauer, who hopped in his minivan in Maryland and drove his family 3,000 miles to California for the rapture. <laughs> he started his day in the bright morning sun outside the gated campings, Oakland headquarters of Family Radio International. He said, I was hoping for it because I think heaven would be a lot better hot, a lot better than this earth. Yeah, I agree with you on that, said Bauer, a tractor trailer driver who, who began the voyage last week, figuring that if he worked last week, I wouldn't have gotten paid anyway if the rapture did happen. Okay. <laughs> um, excuse me. Um, do do do. What, what doesn't make any sense is, why do you have to travel to go and await for the rapture if the Lord God can, um, if he's all that powerful, okay, if he's, omni, if he's omniscient, okay, and omnipotent and omnipresent, okay, I mean, can you be raptured from anywhere in the world? I mean, when, when the rapture does happen, see, these people were deceived. They figure, oh, they have to go to a certain location to await the rapture it does you know and when I, my, one of my last videos I mentioned that you know um, we're not going to know exactly when the rapture is going to happen we don't know exactly when the end times is going to come because we don't know when this rapture is going to happen so 
and that's what I want to make a point. And um, like I say, don't lump me with these people because you know, because I believe in the word of God and I believe in truth. Okay, it's, I mean these people obviously they're deceived, they're blind. Um, I believe that a lot of them don't even have the spirit of God in them, so they're not born again Christians. They're not true Christians. They're not Christians at all. These people are cult followers. They follow a cult leader, a leader that is a false prophet. The Bible calls them that. And there's a severe, there, there, there is a way, there, there await severe punishment for for him and all these followers, especially for Harold Campbell. You know, the Bible speaks clearly against these wicked people. And by the way, I'm going to call this series Satan Prophets. Okay, so that's what he is. He's a Satan. He's a te He's a satanic prophet, okay? Um, and see, and I, I want to show you something here. Like, um, next line is, According to Campton, the destruction was likely to have begun its worldwide march as it became 6 p.m. in the various time zones. Although some believers said Saturday, the, next, the, the exact timing was never written in stone. Well, God's word is written in stone, but the, the words of anyone else, unless they have the spirit of God is not written in stone so if they're speaking from directly from the Lord okay it is not written in in stone so sorry about that folks okay and he had been project he had been projecting an apocalyptic prediction for years far and wide via broadcasting websites I mean what a shame and in New York's Times Square Robert Fitzpatrick of Staten Island said he was surprised when the six o'clock hour simply came and went. He had spent his own money to put up advertising about the end of the world. I mean, th this is about money, people. This profit is for gain, okay? I can't tell you what I feel right now, he said. Uh-huh, I bet you can, because I bet you embarrassed like a mug. And he was surrounded by tourists. Obviously, I haven't understood it correctly because we are still here. Yeah, you're still here now. What's going to happen? Okay, how do you feel now? I mean, I hope you guys don't commit suicide. Hope, hope you, you need to want to commit suicide. You guys need to start your lives over and you need to read the Word of God. You need, you need to get saved. You know, many followers say the, day, the delay was a further test from God to persevere in their faith. See, there's the pridefulness, you know, it's this, this insistent pridefulness in this. And their belief in this this false prophet teaching okay um, it's still May 21st and God's going to bring it said family radio special projects coordinator Michael Garcia who went who spent Saturday morning praying and drinking two last cups of coffee with his wife at home in Alameda when you say something and it doesn't happen your pride is what's hurt uh -huh, yeah okay true enough but who needs pride? God said he resists the pride, the proud, and gives grace to the humble. Yeah, you got that right, but you, you know what? If you believe in this man, then you're prideful, okay? <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line. And so the internet was alive with discussion, humorous or not, about the end of the world and, it appear, and its apparent failure to occur on cue. Many tweets declare Campion's prediction a dud or a share tongue-in-cheek. Their belief at not having to do weekend chores or take a shower. The top trends on Twitter at midday included at number one, in world in world confessions, followed by um, my rapture playlist. You know what a shame. And um, at 6 p.m. approaching Cal as at 6 p.m. approaching California, some 100. Um, people gathered outside Family Radio International Headquarters in Oakland. Although it appeared none of the believers of the prophecy were among them, Campings radio stations, TV channels, satellite broadcasts, and website are controlled from a modest building sandwiched between an auto shop and a Palms Reader business. Oh, Lord. He has to be next door to a Palms Reader business. Yeah, that's, that's part of witchcraft. I mean, just read the Bible. I mean, see, a uh, seer, okay? Christian leaders from across the spectrum widely dismissed the prophecy, and members of a local church concerned followers um, could slip into could slip into a deep depression.
come Sunday were part of the crowd outside Family Radio International. They held signs declaring camping a false prophet as motors drove by. The cold hard, red, the cold hard reality is going to hit them that they did this and it was false and they basically implied out empty out everything to follow a false teacher that's what these people are saying the reverend well that's what the reverend jacob jacob denise of the mipatas um based calvary bible church said earlier we're not all about doom and gloom our message is a message of salvation and hope and of hope that's correct i agree with you I agree with you, Jacob. I do. And it says and about a dozen people in a in a party and mode and a party and mood were also outside Family Radio International, creating a carnival like atmosphere as they strolled in a variety of costumes that portray monks, Jesus Christ and other figures. You see the mockery in that? I mean I do. I don't know about you. And somebody says, I am relieved. Yay, I've got a lot going on. Peter Irwin, a student from Oakland, said with a hint of sarcasm. Boy, he's a mocker. Trying to get specific about the end of the world is crazy. Revelers counted down the, the, the seconds before the anticipated hour, and people began dancing to music as the clock struck 6 p.m. Some released shoe-shaped helium blooms into the sky in an apparent apparent reverence to the ref reference to the rapture Campton has preached you know what I don't want to go on that I don't want to go on to the, the bottom of the I'm, I'm not going to go on to the next the very next line but you, you see the, the mockery of this whole thing I mean I mean this is amazing you know I mean I don't understand how these foolish people these blind fools following this man this this liar, okay? I mean, <laughs> it's a shame. And 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 then off, and then let's see. Family Radio International message has been broadcast in 61 languages. He has said that his earlier apocalyptic apocalyptic um, prediction in 1994 didn't come true because of a mathematical error. The pride in that and the, the arrogance of this man. You see that? And then he he went on and said. I am I'm not embarrassed about it I was it was just the fact that it was premature he told the Associated Press last month but this time he said there is no possibility that it will not happen you know it's a shame you know you see how these you didn't you see all the mocking going on too I mean you know shame this is it's really a shame <laughs> But um, I'm going to come back and do another video. Thanks for watching. Take care.